Hello everyone, welcome to Device Manager. In this video, I will show you how to fix this site can't be reached error on internet browser. I'll take you through some quick and easy fixes to get you back online in no time. Without any further delay, let's get started. Step one, disable proxy server. For that, you go to search bar, type internet options, click on internet options, in the next window, select Connections. There you choose LAN settings. There you uncheck the proxy server option. Also make sure you have ticked automatically detect settings option. Now click on OK, then apply, again OK. See that this method worked for you. If it doesn't, let's go to next step. Step two, deselect IPv6. For that, you go to search bar, type network status. Click on network status. There you select Change Adapter Options. Next window, right-click on your network connection. Select Properties. Look for Internet Protocol version IPv6. Uncheck IPv6 and click OK. Now see if this has solved the issue. If it doesn't, let's go to next step. Step 3. Google DNS Address. Again, go to search bar, type network status. Click on network status. There you select change adapter options. Next window, right click on your network connection, select properties. Click on internet protocol version 4, IPv4. Then select properties. Make sure you have selected obtain an IP address automatically. Below that you select use the following DNC server addresses. For preferred DNS server, type 8.8.8.8. For alternate DNS server, type 8.8.4.4. Click OK, then OK. Now just go and see whether you are able to visit websites. If it doesn't, let's go to next step. Step 4, CMD commands. Go to search bar, type CMD. Right-click on CMD and run as administrator. Type the following commands. I have given all commands in the description. First type, netch space winsock space reset space catalog. Hit enter. It will reset the winsock catalog. Then you type netch space in space IPv4 space reset space reset.log. Hit enter. Lastly, type ipconfig slash flush dns. Hit enter. After that, restart your computer and see if it has resolved the issue. If it doesn't, let's go to step five. Step five, network reset. Go to search bar, type network status. Click on network status. Scroll down and click on network reset. Then select reset now. This will remove and then reinstall all your network adapters. After that, restart your computer and see if this has solved the problem. Hope one of the methods helped you to fix the issue. If you have any queries, please let me know in the comment section. I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.